As Governor-elect Rick Scott is sworn into office next Tuesday in Tallahassee, the outgoing governor might be wondering what could have been if Charlie Crist had not made that failed run for Senate. Polls suggest he'd likely be re-elected as governor. I talked to Charlie Crist this morning about some of the highs and lows of his last four years. When asked to pick just one favorite accomplishment, Charlie Crist picks three. I think the Everglades restoration that we have embarked upon is very important. But, but I also am very proud of what's happened in education. We have the highest graduation rate right now in the history of our state. Uh, crime is at a, almost a 40-year low. As for regrets, is there a do-over that you would take if you had the chance? Oh, God, they're probably a lot. I, I can't think of them right now. But, uh, you know, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with how things have turned out during you know, our administration. And Fifty percent of Floridians agree with that, according to the latest poll. Though Charlie Crist would describe himself as someone who listens to changing opinions, many fault him for blatant flip-flopping on key issues, including offshore drilling, don't ask, don't tell, and health care reform. But the biggest flip of all, leaving the Republican Party, may have been a self-inflicted career-ending injury. You may not be a viable candidate for any office going forward, uh, at least at the statewide or national level. Well, it doesn't concern me. <laughs> I'm looking forward to private life. I really am. And spending more time with Carol, enjoying St. Petersburg. I love it here. You know, this is where I grew up and my whole family's here. It's a great place to be and I'm blessed. Uh, Charlie Crist will not be unemployed for long. He said he'll be doing some guest lecturing at Stetson Law School and is said to be in talks with law firm Morgan & Morgan. You can count on ABC Action News to bring you the governor's inauguration live on Tuesday. Our coverage begins at 11 a.m. I will be in Tallahassee along with Don Gourmet's. We'll have complete reports in our newscast later in the day starting at 5 p.m.